Maths with Niall. Today we'll be using our multiplication grid to work out the answers to division questions and multiplication questions. Hi Niall, and you have something next to you. What's that? A bowl of multiplication questions and division questions. And what are you going to use? What's behind you? And we're going to use a multiplication grid to work out the answer. Okay, very good. So, go ahead and choose a question and can you just explain straight away what you're doing? Okay, so, did I take two? Um, 33 divided by 3. Okay, so go to the grid and how are you going to do that? Um, I'm going to find 33 in here. In where? In my free column and then I'm going to go to the side and then I'm going to, and then that, uh, that will be our answer. Okay, so let's just explain that a bit better. So you're going to find the times tables that you're dividing by. So the question is 33 divided by 3. So show us the three times tables again. Here. Okay, and then what are you going to do from there? I'm going to go down until I find 33. Okay, keep going. Okay. okay, I have found 33. And then you go, uh, across. You go across mm -hmm. and the answer is 11 because it's 11 here. Okay, so 33 divided by 3 is 11. Because very good. Three times 11 equals 33. Okay, very good. Okay, next question. 99 divided by 11. Okay, so what times tables are you using? So that's 11. The side. Mm -hmm. so I'll go down to 99 here, and then I'm going to go across. And the answer is 9. Okay, so 99 divided by 11 is equal to? 9. Very good. 9 times 12. Okay. Okay, so 9 times 12 is? 108. Very good. Three times seven. So I'll go to my seven up here and my three here, and then twenty-one. So the answer is to three times seven is twenty-one. Forty-five divided by nine. Forty-five divided by nine. So where are you starting? At my nine. Nine times tables. Nine times tables. And I'm going to go to 45. Let's see. 45 is here. Mm -hmm. And then I go up equals five. Six times five. So let me get my five times table up here and get my six times table up here. Six times five equals 30. Okay, good job. 60 divided by 10. Okay. 60 divided by 10. Another division. 60 divided by 10. So, if we go to our 10 times table, we can get 60. And then we go up, we get over to 6. So, the answer is 6. So, 60 divided by 10 equals, equals 6. Okay. 8 times 8. Ooh. 8 times 8. 8 times 8. 64. Very good. 8 times 8 equals 64. 84 divided by 7. Okay. Um, so, I'll go to my... Seven times tables, and I'll go down till I find eighty. You can't see. I'll go to my seven times tables, and I'll go down until I find eighty-four. And then, um, 
now I'll go to the side and the answer is 12. So 84 divided by 7 equals 12. Okay, very good. 10 times 6. Why are you smiling? I don't know. Do you know the answer to it already? Yeah, oh. and also we've already done a 60 divided by 10. Oh, have we? All yeah, right. so that's, that gives us a clue. Okay. So 6 times 10. 60. Very good. 6 times 10 equals 60. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. 36 divided by 6. Another division. Yeah, we haven't got any times tables yet. So 36 divided by 6. So, so can, you do, can you do me a favour? Can you find the other 6 times tables? So here is one 6 times table, but here is another 6 times table. So can you use that so one? 36. Here is our 36. And then what are you going to do now? I go up. Very good. And it says the answer is 6. That's correct. 36 divided by 6 equals, equals 6. Okay, good. Another one? 7 times 6. Okay. Wa -ha 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 -ha. 7 times 6. Um, so it goes to 42. 7 times 6 equals 42. Can I show you another way to do that? Look at the seven times tables. Yeah. And then just count. Can you stand to the side so we can see it? Just yeah. count six times down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's it. Oh, yeah. So that I is. I that's totally quite forgot easy. you could do that. So why don't you do eight times four using that method? Eight times four. Eight times four. So I want you to start with the four times tables. Oh, okay. The four. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So four. 8 times 4 is? 32. Very good. Let's do one more like that. Can you do 9 times 6? 9 times 6. So 9 and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 9 times 6 is the same as 6 times 9. Yes. So that's what you've just done, 6 lots of 9. Okay, brilliant. Just to finish off, I'm going to give you two tricky questions. Okay. What do you do if you times a number by 10? Um, it, um, you add a zero on the end of it? Yes, so 5 times 10 is? 50. 11 times 10 is? 110. Good. So, can you tell me what 8 times 3 is using the multiplication grid? 8 times, eight three. times 3. 1, 2, 3. Good. So, what do you think 8 times... What is the answer, sorry, to 8 times 24. Three? So, what do you think 8 times 30 will be if 8 times 3 is 24? Uh, hmm... 8 times 30 would be 240. Yes, because 30 is just 3 times 10. So we can simply add on that 0. So let's do a couple more like that. What is, what is 9 times 2? 9 times 2. Here's the way to do it. You just double the 9. Mm -hmm. So... 9 times 2, I'm going to start with my 2 this time. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 18. So 9 times 2 is 18. So what is 9 times 20? 9 times 20? Um, 180. Very good. Alright, Naya. What is... 12 times 9. 12 times 9. 108. Okay, and if I wanted to do 12 times 90, what would you do to that number? Add a zero. And what would you have if you add a zero? 
to that number? 1080! Very good. And that comes to? The end of our video. Hope you enjoyed our video and if you did subscribe now. Bye! Don't forget to press that like button. Bye! Frankie, say bye boy. Say bye Frankie. <laughs> bye! bye.